we have seen normal forms 1nf 2nf 3nf and dcnf while decomposing relations the decomposition must obey the additional properties one non additive or lossless joint property second one dependency preservation property non additive joint property means if we join decomposed relations the result should have same data as original relation means it should guarantee that no additional doubles in the result suppose if we decompose relation r into r1 and r2 the decomposition d of r has lossless join property with respect to set of functional dependencies f1 original relation r if and only if either the functional dependency r1 intersection r2 determines r1 minus r2 is in closure of f or the ft r1 intersection r2 determines r2 minus r1 is in closure of f simply we can say that r1 intersection r2 should be either candidate key of r1 or candidate key of r2 or even more simple definition is common attribute must be present while decomposing the common attribute must be key for one of the tables if we decompose r into r1 and r2 common attribute should be key for either of these tables let's take one example suppose we have relation r with a b c d attributes here we have f t is b determines c a determines d if we decompose it into r1 with a d r2 with b c here this f t a determines b will hold on this relation r1 this f t b determines c hold on this relation r2 here we are not losing any functional dependency so it is dependency preserving but it is lossless here we do not have any common attribute so result will be empty set so it is lossy decomposition instead of decomposing that relation into ad and bc if we decompose like this r1 with ad r2 with abc then if we take the intersection of this r1 and r2 here we have common attribute a so this decomposition is lossless and common attribute a is the key for first relation ad and we can decompose this relation 2 into two relations with pc and ab here also we have common attribute b which is the key for relation r3 so the decomposition of r into three relations r1 ad r3 bc and r4 ab is the lossless joint decomposition even if we join all these three tables you will not get any additional tuples whereas in this previous decomposition we do not have any common attribute so if we want to join these two relations it would be the cross product so you will be with spurious doubles means there will be additional rows which are not valid and also here this a determines b hold on this relation b determines c hold on this relation r3 so this decomposition is dependency preserving and lossless join decomposition suppose we have relation r with a b c d e f g h i j k attributes in this relation suppose functional dependency a determines b c violate some normal form rule then we need to decompose this original relation r into two smaller relations r1 and r2 r1 will have set of attributes which can be derived by using this attribute a suppose if we have another functional dependency c determines d then this r1 will have a b c and d also because this d can be determined by using c so r1 will be with all this set of attributes r2 will be remaining attributes but this kind of decomposition will be lossy decomposition here we do not have any common attribute so we need to include this a in this relation r2 so r2 should be r1 minus closer of this a union a in just we need to add the key of this first relation in second relation non-key attributes of this relation one should be removed from the original relation so this kind of decomposition will be lossless decomposition